फ्रेंड्स वी आर प्रेजेंटिंग अ केस ऑफ कैल्सिफिक टेंडिनाइटिस ऑफ द सब स्केपोलर स्टेंडन यू कैन सी हियर दैट देर इज अ कैल्सिफिक डिपॉजिट इन द सब स्केपोलर रीजन एंड दैट इज कॉजिंग पेन एंड डिसकम्फर्ट टू द पेशेंट दिस इज एविडेंट इन कोरोनल सेक्शन सर्जिकल सेक्शन एंड एक्जियल्स हियर वी कैन सी दैट देर इज अ स्मॉल रोटेटर कफ बर्सल साइड टेयर ऑन द सुप्राइसमेंटस बट वैन वी गो ऑन द साइड ऑफ सब स्केपोलर इज अ लॉट ऑफ टेंडिनाइटिस स्वेलिंग एंड इन्फ्लेमेशन ओवर देयर एंड वेन वी गो ऑन द एंटीरियर आस्पेक्ट ऑफ द सब स्केप यू विल सी अ चीजी मटीरियल कमिंग आउट फ्रॉम द सब स्केपोलिस वी जस्ट मेक अ स्मॉल रेंट इन द सब स्केपोलिस एंड यू कैन सी अ चौकी पेस्टी टूथ पेस्ट लाइक मटीरियल विच इज कमिंग आउट फ्रॉम द सब स्केपोलिस रीजन so we need to assess and we need to see the ct scan and the mri in detail and we need to release the calcium from each and every part of the subscapularis where the lesion is so we need to release the subscapularis tendon from the medial to lateral extent and when you we do so there is a lot of chalky chalky material which will be coming out and this is sort of a decompression of the subscapular tendon per se and this will cause the relief of the pain of the patient because this is associated with lot of inflammation and lot of pain is this particular scenario we need to explore it thoroughly we need to see it thoroughly we need to see we need to look into the sub, uh, into the ct and mri findings to see where it is in most of the cases the repair of the tendon split is not required but occasionally if it is involving a large portion of the tendon you might need to do a side to side closure or side to end closure of the rotator cuff on the attachment in very very limited cases most of these cases do well without it you can see that still in the lateral part there is a lot of chalky material which is coming out and which is you can see a lot of pressure inside and as soon as we have done a slit on the subscapular is anterior margin just underneath the coracoid a lot of this chalky material is coming out we need to debride it with rf initially and with then we can use a shaver and then we can just do the rf of the inflammation so the and the recent neighboring tissues where the synovitis is there we can remove it with the rf and shaver and these usually will give a very good result to the patient so most of these patient arthroscopic release is our primary treatment of choice other treatments like usg guided needling is usually not that much successful as is the arthroscopic release and arthroscopic decompression needling or babotage procedure friends if you have any more questions regarding this particular procedure you can send us on to the comment box and we'll be very happy to help you out in understanding this condition if you have some mri scans which you would like to share we'll be very happy to help you out with this thanks a lot